Hello, welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda and I am here with my January 2024, somewhere between a TBR and a pile of possibilities. These are books I really plan to, I'm definitely or really, really plan to get to in January. And the list is not long because I'm trying to, I say this every year, and usually in January I'm pretty good at it, but by like March it's gone out the window. But I'm trying to unencumber my reading as much as possible. So I am trying to keep things kind of light and give myself lots of room to read other things. Um, so I actually only have five books on um, this somewhere between a TBR and a pop. But um, let's get started. So the first book is one that I will be reading all year. And that is Les Miserables. I have read this before I read it in high school. Um, but I am reading this new translation of it. And Les Miserables has 365 chapters. So one chapter a day, unless I get so into it, I can't put it down. Um, with one day somewhere to catch up. Because of course I chose to do this on a year that has 366 days. <laughs> that's, that's the plan. Um, if you're a member of my Discord, information down below. We have a thread going because there's a number of us doing this. You do not have to read the same the same translation because all translations have 365 chapters. You choose, unless you get an abridged one, but you choose what works for you, what you have available, and we will, we have a thread to discuss it. So if you're interested, you know how to join us that I'm doing with Sarah at Roadworthy. So Sarah and I are both Pacific Northwesterners and we both um, enjoy reading indigenous literature. And Sarah contacted me and said, would you like to do something in 2024 about reading indigenous literature f for from our, um, authors from the Pacific Northwest? And I said, of course, of course I would. And then we realized slight problem is that there isn't a lot of literature <laughs> from indigenous um, writers from the Pacific Northwest. And that's for a couple of reasons. Now, um, Sarah lives in Washington. Um, and I don't know exactly what the situation is right where she lives, but my husband grew up not that far away from her. And um, there was, I mean, if you ever meet my husband, like in the first five minutes, he'll tell you he went to school on an Indian reservation. He'll also tell you that he's part Native American and he's not because I had him tested. But, <laughs> you know, there is an Indian reservation. He grew up in Polsbo, which is across Miller Bay from Seattle and the S Suquamish Indian reservation is right there. Um, so there, there are, you know, populations of uh, communities of indigenous people up in that area. Now in my area, um, that's not really the case. What happened was the tribe that was in my area was, which was the Aftuali, Af, well, it's Aftuality tribe. It's, it's the traders wrote it down different ways and somehow it's everything from Atfalati or Aftuality. That's how we got the word Tualatin. I live in the Tualatin River Valley. Um, that was part of a confederation of tribes of the Kalapuya. And the Atfalati tribe or whatever you're going to, I'm going to call it the Atfalati because that's what I can say easiest. It's probably not correct. By the time the um, settlers, or let's be honest, the colonists <laughs> got to this part, this area of where I live, um, the native tribe had pretty much been decimated by disease brought over by the traders. So there just, there wasn't a large native, uh, native population here. Um, there were some, the tribe was was declared like extinct in the early 20th century. The last known member of the Atfalati tribe um, died, I want to say in the 30s or 40s or something. And they died at the Yakima reservation. So I'm not quite sure how that worked out. Now, the Kalapuya Confederation was like several tribes. The remainders of those tribes have kind of come together and they are the Kalapuya now, which is a recognized tribe and it's part of the Confederated Nations of Grand Ronde. But to say there's just not one of the reasons why there's not a lot of literature from native writers in my areas because there aren't a lot of native writers in my area because the population was decimated. So we're looking at like Oregon, Washington, BC up to Alaska, and we're gonna do a book each quarter. So um, I'll talk about, you know, books as we come to them, but we're gonna start with a book that I've already read, but I wanted to reread. This was a five-star book for me this year. Um, and this is The Bead Workers by Beth Piatote or Piatote, I'm not really sure how you say her name. So she is a member of the Nez Perce tribe. So, um, she currently lives in California, but if she's a member of the Nez Perce tribe, she came from Eastern Oregon, 
maybe Idaho, but yeah, it's Pacific Northwest. But if you look at the cover of this, this, this cover, this town right here, this is Portland, Oregon right here. And um, so all of her stories take place at least a bit in Portland, except for one that takes place in my hometown of Salem. So um, this is very much a local book. And I'm really looking forward to getting back into it, especially since the last story, this is a short story collection. The last story is um, a retelling of the play Antigone called, I don't know if you can see it here. It's Antigone, but it's spelled kind of differently or Antigone. <laughs> so it's a Native American retelling of Antigone and it talks a lot about the repatriation of remains um, and artifacts. Um, I'd always kind of known the story of Antigone, but it just was one of those things that was in the jumble of my mind. But just a few months ago, my daughter's high school put this on as a play. And I, it's a very hard play for high school students to do because it's hard for them to have anything to relate to. They did a fantastic job. Um, but now that I actually have a better knowledge of what the play Antigone is, I'm looking forward to rereading that. Um, but yeah, so I will be rereading this. And then um, Sarah and I are going to do a discussion of it and we will post that. We're going to do a Zoom discussion and then we'll post that. And that's going to be at the end of February. Not sure of the date because yesterday when I messaged her, um, I said, yeah, let's do it. It was like every noise possible was going on in my house and I can't think right now. I said, so after the holidays, we'll decide on a date, <laughs> but that will be towards the end of February. So we are reading the bead workers by Beth. I'm really, I will tell you when the time comes, but I'm actually really interested in, um, in the book that we're going to be doing second quarter. Sounds really good. Okay. So I have two books that are coming up for book clubs that are coming up. So the first one is The Good House by Tanana Tana Reeve Dew. This is for my marginals, marginals and Margaritas book club because in February we read books by African-American, African, African whatever um, authors. And that was the book that we voted on and chose to do. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I've heard good things about it. Um, this is not her newest book. This is the one I think that came before it. Um, I think her newest book would be too hard for us all to get our hands on anyway. So <laughs> they'll be reading The Good House by, and it's a horror novel and I do like horror. So looking forward to that. It is kind of long. So I will probably be starting it mid month, mid January and our discussion will be in February. The second one is for my library book club and we'll be reading Ring Shout by um, P. Jelly Clark. Um, I've never read them. I've heard great things about it. This is actually a novella. So it's slightly over 100 pages, I think, when I looked it up. So I will, I might not actually start this one to February. I have to look to see when my book club date is and figure it out. But it's not going to be a long, a long book to read. I think it's also horror. That's interesting that both clubs in February are doing horror. It just worked out that way. Um, but yeah, so Ring Shout. Also, Ring Shout was one of the books that was up for February in my Marginal, Marginals and Margaritas group. And I was kind of hoping for it, so I would just have to read one book a book. But that's okay. This one's short, and I'm looking forward to both of them. So I try to read an Agatha Christie every month. And right now, I was going to read this. Was I going to read this last month? Can't quite remember. Anyway, I have Murder in Mesopotamia. If I, This is what I plan to read this month, but, you know, December is crazy and busy. If I get to this... If I don't get to this in December, I will be reading this in January. If I do get to this in December, I will be reading Cards on the Table by Agatha Christie, which is the next book in publication order. So this one I'm really looking forward to because this is like all of her, um, who's in it? It's It's got like pro and race and Ariadne Oliver, like a bunch of her detectives come together to solve a crime. I, I am really looking forward to this one. Um, this one's interesting because I actually already know the story. I saw the adapt adaptation before I read it. So we'll see. We'll see what this one's like. It it's highly rated, so it should be really good. But it's going to be one of these two Christie's will be my January book, depending on if I read this one in December. So that's really all I am like really trying to read, like kind of committing to read this month. Although there are other things going on. Um, of course, I, I update every week, so you'll know what I'm reading. Um, but I'm interested to know what the rest of you are starting your year off with. So if you want to share down below in the comments or if you want to join my Discord and share there and let me know some of the books you're planning. You're going to hope to try, hope to try to get to, try to get to, will get to in January. Um, I'm always interested to know what people are reading. So Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Information on the Discord is down below, and I'll see you in the next video.